Hello everyone. In this video, we will examine how Corbel design is made with the Corbel macro in the Proto Details design library. Corbels are structural elements connected to a column, varying in height, and carrying individual loads. These types of members are usually encountered in industrial structures. Corbels are important in industrial buildings, which usually support heavy duty crane beams and prefabricated frame girders. You can see the corbel usage areas in the examples. Corbels can be either single sided or double sided. Let's click on the corbel macro in the design library. You can choose a double sided or single sided design using the number of cantilevers field. Let's do a single sided design for this example. You can choose the shape of the cantilever as rectangular or tapered. If a rectangular shape is used, there will be a high possibility of clashing between the corbel and other members or pieces of equipment in the structure. That is why the tapered sections are preferred over rectangular sections. Tapered sections will reduce the risk of structural clash while providing sufficient cross-sectional area at the critical section. Let's start with the pre-dimensioning of the model. Our primary goal is keeping the dimensions of the supported member within the boundaries of the corbel. Let's assume that a crane beam will be supported by the corbel. Specify the preliminary length of the corbel as 50 cm and corbel width as 40 cm. The calculation length is the distance of the load to the column face. This length is also equal to the distance A in ACI 318. Let's define the first corbel top height as 50 cm and the bottom height 20 cm. Then, let's determine the friction coefficient according to ACI 318, statement 11.7.4.3. Now, let's define the section properties of the column that the corbel is connected. First, let's define the loads that will act on the corbel. There are two significant loads in the corbel design. The main load is acting vertically and it governs bending and shear design. The horizontal load is used in the shear calculation. Let's specify the loads as 10 tons and 2 tons, respectively. We can define the concrete and reinforcement properties using the options section. Corbel Design Macro supports the provisions for ACI 318, Eurocode 2, and TS 500. Since we changed the properties in the design, Let's click the Update Design button. Let's check the reinforcement details before moving on to the Reinforcement tab. The pink reinforcement acts as the main tensile and compressive reinforcement. Green and blue reinforcements are the shear reinforcements that provide a caging around the main bars. Limit value is determined according to ACI 318. You can create reports from the outputs section following the options that you want. You can also review the design details in the report. Let's click the OK button and click on an empty area. As you can see, the detail drawing and quantity takeoff is created automatically with all the rebar types that we mentioned. In this video, we explained how to make a corbel design. We will continue our designs in the other videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified of new videos.